looking somewhat run down today. Namaste SMP, or Square of the Slovak National Uprising, is where reportedly some 200,000 Slovaks gathered to witness the birth of an independent Slovakia at midnight on January the 1st, 1993. The wreaths and flowers you see here are from the commemorations marking the August 1944 uprising against fascist forces. At the time, Slovakia was independent, but virtually a Nazi puppet state. From the people I spoke with here in Bratislava, independence does not seem to evoke a gush of national pride, and maybe that gives a little insight into the matter. There was, after all, no national referendum on independence during the so-called Velvet Divorce. Vladimir, a former journalist, said he wished the Czechs and Slovaks had stayed together. From the economic point of view, he says, it didn't make sense. Costs have increased for the Czech and Slovak republics, and together, a Czechoslovakia republic would have a bigger and better status in Europe than an independent Slovakia. Others, such as Martin, a doctor, says the split was difficult and emotions were high at the time. But he believes independence was good for both countries. I think it was a good time because it, it would have been a great source of political instability if we, stayed, if we had stayed together. That's what I think. It, this period of time seems from, from, from today's perspective quite irrational. Many things are not so easily comprehensible now, but um, I think if we, if we had stayed together we would just argue all the time. <laughs> Over the next week, I'll be travelling across Slovakia, and the question of independence will be something I'll return to and raise with people I meet.